Lord, we have come with a token out of the abundance you have given unto us. And with thanksgiving and with our dancing, Lord, accept everything in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Listen to please. We have our special presentations. I'll be calling on Sister Funke and others. Be blessed as you Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
are here with one body or the other and you think I can't praise God. I'm so discouraged right now. I'm so depressed. I'm so worried. I don't even know where my future is. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm here to tell you today. Sing. Praise the name of the Lord. He will lift that burden off your shoulders and he will give you joy unspeakable. Why should I be discouraged? Why should I feel discouraged? Why should I shout to Why should my heart be 
lonely and long for heaven and oh when Jesus is my portion my constant friend is his eyes is on the sparrow and I know eyes he's on the sparrow and I know he watches me I sing because I'm a peace I sing because I'm free His eyes He's on The sparrow And I know He watches me Let not your Troubled, he stand the word I and resting on his goodness. I lose my doubts and
Because I'm happy the resurrection voices for restoration praise resurrection praise while we await our invited guests hallelujah hallelujah can we rise on our feet as we give God the worship this morning? Let's give him the praise for a brand new day. For he has been a faithful God. He is the one that has been giving us strength. He is the one that has been giving us giving him all the worship. Lord, we are here to join to you. We are here to connect to you. Can you connect your heart to the Lord? Don't be distracted. Let your heart connect to the Most High God. Let your heart connect to your Father. Speak sweet things to the Lord. Give him the worship. Just give him the praise. Give him your sweetest praise. Let him identify you this morning. Just give him all your worship. It's not because everything is perfect. But it's because you know that the Lord you are serving is able. Much more than able. Let's give him all the praises. Father, we are here to join to you. We are here to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, we give you all the praise. Just give him the worship. Worship him. Just worship him. Give him the praise. It doesn't have to be fast before you worship God. It doesn't have to be loud before you worship God. Just give him the worship. Give him your sweetest praise. Worship him from the depth of your heart. Just let him know that you are worshiping him this morning. It is not you, it is God. Ascribe all glory and honor to the Heavenly Father, the one that has been keeping you. It is not because we are wise. It is not because we are smart. It is God. It has been God. And it will always be God. And Father to child. Spirit of spirit. I said I Are you sure about that? Is he your father? Are you his child? And with your bread of life, I'm selling from my life. That's how I change my world. Say, Father to child, Father to child, my spirit to my spirit, spirit to my spirit.
only that last week you are holding that you will be singing and dancing and chanting for the rest of eternity. Now let's show him. Hallelujah! Amen.
Alléluia. As we are welcoming our sister church choir, our CCG grace to you. Hallelujah. I told you before that you have not seen anything yet. <laughs> it's just like when you are peeling an onion, you know? You'll be, you'll be peeling it in... Thank you, ma. <laughs> and your hair. To give his praises. Join me in welcoming the grace to you. Hallelujah. as we dance together. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Church! Yeah. Let's be seated.
Thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Your voices, we shall continue to sing to eternity. In the name of Jesus, together we will sing hallelujah in the highest. And God will continue to honor his word in your lives in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Can we be seated, please? I will call on the restoration voices to give their special number while our pastor gets set for the word. Hallelujah. Restoration voices, please. special number today to tell God that he has done this one for us. Yes, Lord. He has been the one that has done wondrous and marvelous things in our lives. Hallelujah.
God is good, oh. God is good oh. all the time, oh. All the time. worship him let us adore him let's give him all the glory let's give him all the honor father we thank you jesus daddy we worship you lord glory be to your holy name father thank you jesus 
In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. You are going to lift your voice and cry unto him and say, Father, because I'm here tonight, please give me an encounter of a lifetime. Shall we begin to pray? Talk to God. Father, because I am here tonight, please give me an encounter of a lifetime. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, do not look at the person by your side. It is between you and your Lord. Your change of story can begin right now. Father, give me an encounter of a lifetime. In the name of Jesus. An encounter of a lifetime that I will live the rest of my life to testify. Daddy, tonight, tonight, Father. Daddy, tonight, please, Lord, in your mercy, an encounter of a lifetime. 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 Mama le poroko santa kale bara baba. Le brako sente kele baba. An encounter of a lifetime. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Alive, alive, my Savior is alive. Oh, alive forever. The sting of hell is gone. exalted in Jesus' name. Daddy, in our midst tonight, in our life tonight, show yourself strong. Do what you alone can do. And let all the glory be yours in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I talk to your neighbor, the Lord is giving you an encounter of a lifetime. In the name of Jesus. I want to use this moment to appreciate the presence of the choir of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Grace to you, Parish. God bless you in Jesus' name. I was in your midst on Sunday, and the, the rendition of the choir was awesome. And tonight, you perform excellently well. God bless you. God bless you. Greater heights, greater glory in the name of Jesus. Pastor Mrs. Adina, yeah, God bless you. And uh, my brother, uh, the keyboard is here as God. Where is he? Okay, God bless you in Jesus' name. Bravimbo. God bless you in Jesus' name. You are welcome. You are looking radiant and beautiful. And uh, to the Restoration Choir, 
That was wonderful. Let's give it to the Lord. Let's put our hands together for a wonderful time. That was awesome. God bless you in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God is moving you from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. To the ministers in the house, God bless you. Thank you so much for your support. God bless you in Jesus' name for praying towards this program. And God bless you in Jesus' name. And to my wonderful and glorious wife, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Glory be to God. God is going to help us tonight. The Bible says, if Jesus Christ did not rise from the dead, we are of all men most miserable. The reason we are here today is lives. And because Jesus lives, you will live also. John chapter 14, verse 19. He said, because I live, you shall live also. And I am speaking to somebody here today. I don't know that thing that is dead or that is dying inside of you or around you. In the name of Jesus, because Jesus lives, you live in the name of the Lord Jesus. Talking about the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, we're going to continue the sermon on Sunday, but we just touch briefly and we do what God wants us to do tonight. One of the proof that Jesus Christ resurrected was, uh, number one, the tomb was empty. Then number two, he appeared to many. In the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 9, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he cast out before he died seven demons. Mark chapter 16 verse 12, he appeared unto two brethren. They were going and they were discussing. Have you not heard? What happened? Jesus Christ resurrected. And he joined himself in the conversation. And he now asked them, what is it that you are talking? He said, are you a stranger? Don't you know what is happening around? Don't you know the Jesus Christ, the crucified? He said, really? And he was talking to them. Their highs of understanding were blocked. But the moment Jesus Christ entered into, Jesus Christ has said to go, and they invited him to, his, to their house. He said, come and tarry the night with us. And Jesus Christ went with them, and he broke the bread. The moment he broke that bread, the Bible says their eyes were opened. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to have a strange miracles in the name of Jesus. Because your eyes will open. Your mental sight will be open. Your eyes of understanding will be open. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Not only that, in Mark 16 verse 14, he appeared to the 11. No, as at that time, Judas Iscariot was no more, died. He appeared. He appeared to several people. And Jesus Christ is still appearing Today, Saul of Tarsus, when Jesus Christ resurrected and ascended on heaven, he was persecuting the church of Christ. The Bible says Jesus Christ appeared to him and smote him down. We've had several testimonies of Jesus appearing in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Jesus Christ resurrected, it will appear to you in the name of Jesus. I know he has appeared to you before. He will appear to you again and again in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, when Jesus appeared, death disappeared. Whenever he appeared, death disappeared. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. John chapter 11, you can read it from verse 1 to 44. When he appeared, Lazarus that was dead four days came back to life. John chapter 5, verse 25 and 26. Whenever he appears, death disappears. And that's why I'm so confident that every part of your body that is dead, everything in and out of you that is dead, because Jesus Christ lives, death disappears now in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Jesus Christ appears, stagnation disappears. 
You remember the story of the man that was in a position for a, for good 38 years. 38 years. John chapter 5, verse 1 to 12. But the moment Jesus Christ appeared, the man began to move. He said, take up, take up your bed and walk. And that man, for the first time in 38 years, moved. In the name of Jesus, you are moving forward. The almighty God will grant to speed. All those that think they have gone ahead of you, in the name of Jesus, you are overtaking them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whenever Jesus Christ appears, every infirmity disappears. Infirmities, the spirit of infirmity was responsible for the stagnation of this man. Spirit of infirmity can be responsible for someone to be barren, to be unproductive. Spirit of infirmity can make somebody to have withered hands. Spirit of infirmity can blind the sight of a man. Spirit of infirmity can make a man to labor like an elephant and be eating the reward of an hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Jesus Christ lives, every spirit of infirmity will disappear tonight in the name of Jesus. Now, whenever he appears, all mockers are silenced. He silenced mockers. There was a woman, in fact, the Bible says, the people said, they told Jesus, this woman was caught in the very act. Probably they put a surveillance camera there. But we could see the gender bias there. She was not committing the adultery alone. She was committing it with somebody. They left that man. Like we have been, it was a setup for her. This, everyone that has fashioned evil against you, in the name of Jesus, it will never prosper in the name of Jesus. And it will fall upon their head in Jesus' name. And the death sentence of this woman was written and sealed. But they made a mistake. They brought, him to Jesus. They brought her to Jesus. They made a mistake. And when Jesus appeared, he just asked one question. And all the mockers were silenced. In the name of Jesus. Because Jesus Christ lives. Every mockers in your life they are silenced now in the name of Jesus. God told Joshua, he said, this day will I begin to roll away the reproach of Egypt. Every reproach of Egypt in your life, between shame and reproach, not hide with your cloth. You can't hide it with your cloth. You can't use anything to hide it. The moment you appear, people see the reproach. The moment you appear, they see it. Shame, you can hide it. Some people can be going through some challenging situations. They can put on a, a beautiful smile and dress wonderfully and hide what they are going through. But when it becomes a reproach, it can no longer be hidden. The moment you appear, the reproach appears. You remember this blind man, the Bartimaeus, the blind man. Long after Jesus Christ opened his eyes, do you know they still call him? Every reproach of Egypt in your life, in the name of Jesus, by the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, they are all away in the name of Jesus. Whenever Jesus appeared, darkness disappeared. John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. He said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall never walk in dark. Whenever you see Jesus, light appear. And I tell you, light is coming your way in Jesus' name. There cannot be any meaningful creation. There cannot be any meaningful victory or success without light. Before everything inside of God came into existence, the brother and sister that is sitting beside you was existing in the womb of God before. But before what was in the womb of God came into existence, the Bible says, let there be light. And the moment light appeared, everything inside of God came forth. 
in the name of Jesus. Every idea that is inside of you, as a result of the light that is going to come upon you, they will come forth in the name of Jesus. So the endless of the creation waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. In the name of Jesus, because light is coming your way, you will manifest greatness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. If it is only one or two people that have faith to connect. You see, Jesus Christ appears by his word as well. He appeared unto Abraham in a vision. He said, and the word of the Lord came unto me. He appeared by this word. You remember the story of our father in the Lord. He said he has, he has read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but one day he was reading. And Luke chapter 1 verse 37 appeared unto him. And said, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. And that changed the trajectory of his life. The word of God, Jesus Christ will appear unto you through the word in the name of Jesus. For Moses, he appeared to him in the flame of fire. And the trajectory of his life changed. In the name of Jesus, I see your story changing. I see you moving from glory to glory. Whenever Jesus appears, sickness disappears. Because the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11, he said, the spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, that dwells inside of you, he said, he will quicken your mortal bodies. When the mortal bodies is quickened, you know when somebody is in a coma, they use one, I'm not a, nurse, not a doctor, they use something like iron to jack the person up. Bah, bah. And before you know it, sometimes the people will just jack back to life. When the quickening power of Jesus Christ touched a man, everything inside of that man rejuvenates, becomes new. In the name of Jesus, your mortal body has been quickened in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, Jesus is here already. Psalm 22, verse 3, he said, But thou art only, O thou that inhabitest the praises of his people. He is here already. And I know that some people are already being healed right now. Now, we're still going to pray from some categories of people. You know, some people's faith needs to be helped. Needs to be helped. Some people, as the praises were going forth, I see God healing people already. In nobody here will escape without an encounter in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, Where two or three shall gather in my name? Where is it going to be? In the midst of them. Now, a day is going to come that Jesus Christ is going to appear. And everybody will see him again. And that is going to be the last appearance. Then, judgment. Titus chapter 2 verse 13. Titus chapter 2 verse 13. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Brethren, when Jesus Christ appeared and you are not already on his side, it is not good. We're going to bow down our head. We want to pray. If you are in the house, because the prayer we're going to pray tonight is for those people that are on the Lord's side. You're already born again. If you are in the house, you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Today that we're celebrating the resurrections of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a great day to be born again. Please raise up your hands wherever you are and we're going to pray with you. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. You want to say, Lord Jesus, you live. I surrender to you. I want to accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. God bless you. God bless you. You can come forward. God bless that hands. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. The rest of us, bow down, bow down your head and begin to thank him. Father, I thank you because you live, I can face tomorrow. Because you live, I know my tomorrow is all right. You want to surrender in your life to Jesus. And there is another category of people in this place. 
You used to be hot for Jesus, but now you know that you are lukewarm. You know you are cold. You know you are lukewarm, and you want to make it right. Raise up your hands, and we're going to pray with you as well. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus? You want to rededicate your life to Jesus? Raise up your hands, and we're going to pray with you. You may be the only one. You may be the only one. Jesus Christ lives. Jesus lives. And you can be sure of a glorious tomorrow. God bless you. God bless you. If you are sure of your salvation, can you stretch forth your hands to people in front and pray for them? And pray for them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are in front, begin to talk to God and say, Lord Jesus. I believe that you live. I believe that you rose for my justification. I accept you today as my Lord and my personal Savior. Please forgive all my sins. Have mercy upon me in Jesus' name. Talk to him. Talk to him. Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my Lord and my personal Savior. Please have mercy upon me. Forgive all my sins. Give me a new beginning. A new beginning in you. In the name of Jesus. Give me a new beginning in you. Father, we thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you for these your children that have come forward. Thank you for bringing them here. Father, please have mercy upon them in Jesus' name. Accept them in the name of Jesus and rewrite their story in the name of Jesus. From today, Father, perpetuate your righteousness through them in the name of Jesus. Establish them in you forever in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus and give them a new beginning, a new beginning of joy, a new beginning of peace, a new beginning of victory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You will see my brother that is standing there, kindly follow him. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. God bless you. Follow him. God bless you. God bless you. Please let us rise on our feet. Let's rise on our feet. Life, alive, my Savior is alive, alive forevermore. The sting of death is gone. of death. All you see, you dream of somebody that is close to you dying or dead. You are in there. Whenever you close your eyes, it is death or representatives of death. If you are seeing coughing or something that links to death, I want you to come forward. Jesus Christ lives. And you will live. Come forward, please. And the rest of us, just go ahead and just tell him your situation and begin to talk to him and say, Jesus, because you live, death disappears in my life. Because you live, stagnation disappears in my life. Malé braco santa calé broco le barababa. 
Kale bara kasen teke kele bara baba. You are seeing death in your dreams, death of the people that is close to you. You are seeing things that are part, that related to death in your dreams. Come forward, and Jesus Christ is going to deliver you. That weapons of death that is fashioned against you will never prosper. We never prosper. Please, ushers, let them. We have spaces here. I will come and touch you and lay my hands upon you, and that death will be cancelled. Death in your family, in and around you, will be cancelled forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, thank you, Lord. Fear is gone because you know the future. And life is one and living just because it Jesus, mighty name we pray. Because Jesus Christ lives, you live also in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is close to you, in and around of you, that covenant of death is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you because it is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please go back to your seat. Now the next group that the God wants to want me to pray for if you are sick in your body or you have something inside of you the doctor has said that you have to be taking a particular drug for a lifetime please come forward come forward anyone in here come forward close your eyes and you just begin to bless God Bless God and thank Him because you have an encounter. He has already encountered you. Your life can never remain the same. In the name of Jesus, is anyone sick among you? He said, Let him pray, call for the elders, and the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. Jesus Christ is lead, and He wants to prove it in your life again and again that He is alive. That He is the Lord that He led you. Is the Lord that He led you? Male baraka sem teke le barababa. The Spirit that quickens Jesus is here. La ko sem teke le barababa. Le proko sem teke le barababa. Le ba le proko Santa ka le barababa. I will lay my hands upon you, and the Spirit of the Lord will quicken your mother body. And every traces of sickness and disease inside of you will disappear. The in the name of Jesus. Your as soon as hands are laid on you, you can go back to your seat. And just be thanking God. And I healed your
In the name of Jesus, I decree into your life. I decree and hand to every form of stagnation in your life in the name of Jesus. I cause fruitless labor in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pronounce you fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity under the sound of my life, of, of my voice, that is in any part of your body hiding. In the name of the Lord Jesus, go out in Jesus' name. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Never to return to this body in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Every weapons fashion against you for your destruction. I say back to say that in the name of Jesus. It will never prosper over you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because Jesus I lives, your reproach that has followed you either through, that reproach is gone now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever you appear, light will appear. Because you praise God tonight. Because you rejoice in the presence of the Heavenly Father tonight. According to the prophetic release of God from heaven through our Father in the Lord. Mighty doors have been opened unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Areas that have no doors. In the name of Jesus. Doors are open now in the name of the Lord Jesus. The rain of God blessing upon you will be plentiful. Amen. And it will eradicate every form of weariness in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you glory. Be thou exalted. If you believe indeed that God has touched you, I want you to just thank him, give him a clap of him and just rejoice. <laughs> Father, thank you. And say, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus for the word. And as church, I want us to stretch forth our hands to his vessel that he has used. Let's pray that God will replenish him. There are many virtues that has gone out of him tonight that God will, re will restore in many folds in Jesus' name. Let's pray that this shall be the least of the word that God shall send through him. And as many words that he has spoken through him tonight, that the word will not stand against him in judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give up praises to him that is worthy to receive it all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' marvelous name, we have prayed. Are we tired? Are we sure we are not tired? Then let's rise up on our feet as we give the thanksgiving praises unto him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. If you are happy to be alive, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Can you do like this? Is he walking? He's walking. Like this. Is he walking? He's walking. Like this. Is he walking? He's walking. Shout hallelujah. I can see, I can 
I want you to begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless him, begin to worship him. Thank him for the privilege that he has given unto you. Worship him, give him glory. Give him honor, give him exaltation. Thank him because the Lord Almighty has shown forth for you today. And as we have learned that when Jesus showed up, sickness disappeared. Thank him because sickness has disappeared in your life. Thank him because sickness has disappeared in your home. Thank you because the Lord Almighty has eradicated infirmities. Thank him because he has put an end to stagnation. Thank him for his greatness in your home. Thank him for divine promotion. Because you are here today rejoicing. Thank you because things of rejoice will not depart from your home. Thank you because things of joy will not cease in your life. Thank you because it will not allow you to be stranded. Because you are praised the king of kings. It will always rise on behalf of you. It will rise on my behalf. Because you have honored the king of kings. Thank you because the Lord Almighty will honor you with all his resources tonight. Thank you for his blessing and abundance. It is a privilege to worship at his feet. It is a privilege to bless him. It is a privilege to sing a song unto him. It is a privilege to eulogize him. Thank you because he has given you this privilege. Thank you because he has risen on your behalf. Worship the King of Kings. Thank you because he has put an end to disappointment in your home. Thank you because he has opened your eyes of understanding. Thank you because he has hope. Thank you because he has moved you to the next level of your life. Thank you because he has turned things around for your sake. He has turned things around for your home, for your marriage. Thank you because he has put an end to every spirit of discouragement. Thank you because of his strategic plan concerning you. Thank you because he has given you assurance for you to have a wonderful blossom hair. You are here rejoicing. You are here dancing today. You will continue to dance in his presence. The Lord Almighty will create him for you to testify. He will give you things that will make you to testify. He will give you things that will make you to rejoice. Father Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. Thank you because you are God in our life. Thank you because you are God in our home. In Jesus' name, we worship you. Father Lord, we thank you once again. We glorify your name. We thank you because we put our trust in you. Father, we thank you because you did not take your eyes away from us. Father, we bless your holy name because you have created joy in our midst today. Thank you because you have blessed us with series of blessings. Thank you because you have visited all the way you have never done before. Thank you, whole Lord, for the healing. Thank you, whole Lord, for promotion. Thank you, whole Lord, for the next level. Father, may your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Father, as we be going today, Daddy, let your presence go with us. Grant us peace in our borders. Father, grant us, O oh Lord, the grace to have that strategic plan per time concerning our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Move mightily in the hand in the life of everyone that have honored you today. Father, honor them like never before. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, Lord, we thank you because you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are happy to be in the presence of the Lord today, I want you to shout a powerful hallelujah. Shout a wondrous hallelujah. If you believe and you believe that God has done new thing in your life today, shout a wondrous hallelujah. If you believe that the rest of the year will be the best of your year, shout a marvelous hallelujah. Once again, we want to appreciate everyone that have honored God today. And we pray that the Lord Almighty will honor you. And as you are going home, and I know that the Lord Almighty will go with you. Thank you once again. Now let us sing our song.
Let's join our hand, please. Let's join our hands together. shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Give it to your neighbor. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.